Dr. Phil Gaccio with the Functional Health Institute of Atlanta. Hey, during this pandemic and people are at home and they're getting more time with families, it's a beautiful thing in many ways where we get to slow down. Now here at our clinic, we're considered essential, so we're seeing people and keeping people out of emergency rooms and we're getting to serve and do what we love the most. In the middle of this, one of the biggest uh, kind of jokes that I've been hearing about is that people are gonna come out of this time at home either pregnant or looking pregnant. Now to the first one, being pregnant, you all should know how that happens and handle that on your own. As far as looking pregnant, there's some things you could do. Obviously, there's tools and there's strategies that we can employ to maintain discipline as far as exercise and as far as the way that we eat. But I wanted to uh, make you aware of something called the AMPK pathway. The AMPK pathway right here is the five prime adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase pathway. What the heck is that? Well, this discovery, this is a genetic trigger and this genetic trigger, when you turn it on, it acts just like a switch, it increases energy, it stops fat storage. So this is a great way to stop fat. And I'm gonna give you some tools and tips, three tools and tips you can do on your own, and one special strategy you might wanna to employ to activate the AMPK pathway. So let's check it out. The AMPK pathway, very special because it makes your pancreas, which produces, which you have beta cells in the pancreas that help with insulin. This helps beta cell function to increase insulin, which means you're storing, you're storing less fat, you're using your sugar, your fuel in the bloodstream for energy. It tells the brain to be satisfied, so it increases satiety. AMPK goes to adipose tissue, your fat storage, and it causes lipid synthesis, decrease in lipid synthesis. That means you're making less fat. There are less lipids in the blood. This is your cholesterol, triglycerides, the fats that float in the bloodstream. That's always good to protect the heart, but also keep body fat down. You get less fat storage. Who doesn't want that? And you get increased insulin sensitivity. So the body, the cells of the body are using and burning more fuel. Next, in the muscles, AMPK has the effect of increasing fat burning and sugar burning and increasing energy. In the liver, it causes less glucose production. You know your liver, uh, when you're in certain stress situations or you haven't eaten properly, your liver actually makes sugar. Well, this AMPK pathway causes liver sugar production to go down. It also, lipid synthesis is, finds its home in many ways in the liver. So it shuts down fat synthesis, cholesterol, triglyceride synthesis with the liver. But this AMPK pathway increases fatty acid oxidation. That means breaking down, burning, using up those fats. So next question is how? do we activate this AMPK pathway? So one of them is fasting. Now there's lots of research on fasting. Some people agree with a 10 hour fast, meaning from the time you stop eating uh, tonight till the time you begin eating tomorrow should be 10 hours. We like more in the 12 to 13 hour range. The research seems to, 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 to dictate that there's a lot of benefits there. This is gonna be up to you and your healthcare provider. Um, check that first. Next exercise. Uh, the, the research is pretty clear, at least 150 minutes a week. And whether it's aerobic, like you're jogging, walking, or it's anaerobic where you're doing sprints, I think a mix of low intensity, slow act activity, along with exercise like working your muscles, resistance training, or all that activity like high intensity intervals are great for activating this AMPK pathway. Next one, this is a little bit of a special one, but not that hard, short chain fatty acids. Short chain fatty acids are produced by your friendly bacteria in your gut when you feed them fiber. So yes, it's increasing your veggies, but a way to really boost this performance is veggie smoothies. Put, uh, make a smoothie in the morning, put a cup of leafy veggies, and the best would be veggies you don't commonly use. They're gonna feed the bacteria in your gut, not feeding you, feeding the bacteria in your gut. They'll help you make short chain fatty acids. Short chain fatty acids stimulate that AMPK pathway. Next, ALA. Alpha lipoic acid and berberine have a tremendous benefit towards activating the AMPK pathway. And those of you who are interested, I have some data. We're gonna post it here uh, for some material, one of the best resources for ALA and berberine. If you want the data, just contact us. We'll ship you out a, a data sheet just through your email, free, easy, so you can look at the research for yourself and to activate this AMPK pathway. So get out of this holiday, get out of this time off. We're gonna call it a holiday. Get out of it leaner, meaner, healthier. This is a great time to reflect on that. My best to you and yours during this time, and we're here to serve you.